the first question that people often ask us is how we met. And I moved to Brooklyn, New York in 2004 and uh, found a studio online. And as I was walking into the studio, St Stephen was walking out. Um, from that point on, we, we found out that we were studio neighbors. Um, we helped each other uh, build each other's studios. And um, from the get-go, we kind of re had a mutual or respect for each other's work. And then in 2005, there was an opportunity. This woman named Anna Hepler in Portland, Maine, was sponsoring a series of collaborative art projects. And so um, at that point, it just seemed logical to work together. And even though we had never collaborated you know, together before, we were like, you know, let's give this a shot and see how it goes actually making art together. So we set our individual practices aside and um, decided to create this third entity. During the time that we've been collaborating, we've also tried to maintain uh, separate studio practices because uh, the third collaboration is informed by that type of individual uh, investigation. And so the paper for us has been kind of the, the, our, our uh, point of convergence. Like it's, a, it's been our common um, medium. For this particular project, we sort of were focusing on the ephemeral landscapes that are kind of local to the area. And uh, in, in later projects, we've really been focusing on kind of more of the process of, of making these projects. And um, for, this, for this piece, we want it to be less of a sort of literal depiction of a land form, let's say, and more of a kind of abstract type of experience. Um, a kind of meshing of uh, general textures and forms and movement suggested by uh, the paper of the landscape. And so often in our past work, there's, there's this line between whether the work is supposed to be in implying an action or whether it's a record of an action. Um, and so that's something that we're, we're really trying to push in this, uh, in this piece. You know, j just like the, the dunes at um, Colored Andres State Park or the, or the um, the ice formations down at the shoreline, you never quite know when something like has either just happened or just been, you know, come into formation or when it's just about to be destroyed. I think um, in an exhibition themed about the land, there tends to be a um, maybe an, an expectation that the artists are taking a, st a political standpoint. And we're actually coming from a very different place where much of our work is guided by an investigation about human perception. And so we are without, you know, bracketing all of the things that are happening outside of, you know, um, the gallery and outside of the natural landscape. We're just looking purely at how the phenomena of the, the changing landscapes at the lake, you know, the shoreline of Lake Michigan um, inform local viewers' experience of negotiating the world. And so uh, I think memory plays a, a big part in this. So we want to create an experience in the gallery that informs the experience of the viewer outside of the gallery and vice versa so that uh, the viewers can no, cannot experience the real landscape without referencing, in retrospect, our installation piece.